Good day, everyone. It's noon. Oh, one. Sorry, I'm late. Welcome. It's Friday. We made it to another one. And uh, it's the last day of color week. I uh, am a little bit sad about it, but you know what? We don't have to stop using color just because it's the end of color week. Um, I decided to wear one of my very most colorful shirts because I didn't have enough days for both blue and purple and then all of the other uh, colors in the rainbow. So, welcome everyone. Hi. <sighs> We're gonna do something really fun today. I mean, every day, right? But today's gonna be especially fun. Uh, it's gonna be another critter. Um, and it's one of my favorite critters. It's a funny little critter. And it starts with a sort of a design that I bet the minute I start practicing it on my little sketchy sheet right here, I bet you're gonna know exactly what it is like that. Um, Sylvie's in her window. She's keeping watch. Afternoon patrol. Um, but you know what I didn't do? today is I didn't tell you what I would be using and you've probably picked up on the fact at this point that it really doesn't matter you can use whatever in the whole world you would like to use but today I'm actually going to draw with a colored pencil I'm not going to erase anything I don't think we'll see um, and then I'm gonna use these little my little crayons that I showed you that one time these ones that are, sorry guys, they're like, uh, hi everyone, they are like watercolor pencils, uh, but they're crayons. It's hard to describe, but you should get some. I think I put a link in one of my stories. Um, they are wonderful, but whatever you have today, and I showed a little trick at the end of, it was not well-timed yesterday, but I showed a little trick of using just good old Crayola markers and then using a brush and some water and you can spread um, the color, the, the water-based ink of the markers. So that could be a fun way to do today. But um, it's gonna be a pretty simple drawing that we, that we start with today. So we're just gonna, we're gonna jump in uh, after we do a little warm up. Um, yesterday when we did our, um, no, the day before, when we were doing our bird and we started with doing some sort of swoopy lines just all over a little extra sheet of paper, um, we're going to do something similar today, but it's not going to be necessarily swoopy. It's going to be something different. Hold, hold please. Okay. Oh, you know what I haven't done in a while. Good looking. All right. So we're just going to warm up a little bit with, um, with this sort of line. Whoops, I sharpened it a little too much. So just on some little extra piece of paper or maybe on the back of the piece of paper that you might be using today. What do you all think we might be drawing today? Hmm, I wonder what kind of critter has a spiral involved. They're really fun to draw. Like you could just fill a page with all kinds of rainbow swirls. That would be fun. Snail! I just think snails are so cute. They are so mysterious and weird and funny. And so today we're going to make a snail. Now, I'm going to I'm going to start my snail with a sort of this is what I would call a, a tighter spiral and this is what I would call a little bit of a, a looser. It's a it, there's more room in between those lines. So that's how I'm gonna start my snail. But if your snail has like super tight spiral, that is fine by me. So yeah, spiral party. 
Okay. So I think I've drawn enough spirals. I think I'm I think I'm ready to I think I'm ready to go for it. So I'm gonna set aside my little sketchy sketch pad. And I actually have my paper turned hello Sylvie. I have my paper turned horizontally today, but I think you've probably also picked up on the fact that it really doesn't matter. You can do your picture however you like, but mine is going wide this way, which is also called what? Not portrait, but we learned it yesterday. It's called landscape. This is our landscape orientation. All right, so here we go. And I'm, st I'm just starting with my turquoise colored pencil because I really wanted to draw in color today. But you can draw with a pencil, you can draw with a pen, you can draw with a marker, whatever. All right, right in the middle of my paper, I am going to start with my spiral. And I'm gonna say, I don't really know how to say, like how to measure how many times I have, I'm going around, but I think I'm gonna stop there. And it would be a good idea if you stop somewhere in this region, because what we're gonna do is finish off the spiral, because this is where our cute little snail's body is going to come out of his shell. So I'm just gonna do kind of a little smiley line, like a little boop, like that. All right, so we, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we have a snail shell. And then I'm actually going to start, instead of with his head, which is gonna be over here, I'm gonna start with his little tail. And it's just this kind of long, sort of slimy, funny, little wavy, not very specific line. And then it comes back this way and kind of like floats over in this direction. You guys, Sylvie's gonna be chasing a fly right here in the window, so this might get a little interesting. Oh, she almost got it. All right, so I'm gonna wait, let you guys kind of get in this sort of stage before I start with our funny little snail head. And I'm now going to take a little line up this way. It's just like a little diagonal kind of curved line. And then I'm gonna come up sort of with a little sort of parentheses, like a little, a little uh, sideways rainbow line, kind of like that. So we've got the start of our funny little snail. And this is where it gets just so cute and funny to me. They have those sort of little um, eyes. You guys, there's a hummingbird outside my window. <gasps> Sorry, just got really excited. So they have these sort of long, they look like antenna, but they, I believe, you guys, I didn't do my science homework with the snail, so just let's just call them the eyes, shall we? So I've got these, They right now they look kind of like little antenna, but we have nothing in here bringing it all together. So I'm gonna do another little line here, another little line here, <laughs> and then I'm gonna do sort of a little, almost like a little light bulb shape up on top, like that. And then we'll just join these together right here. <laughs> do, 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 do. All right. So I, this is where it's gonna get maybe a little less realistic uh, because I'm just gonna put cute little eyeballs up here. Hang on, I'm gonna just get you a little closer. There we go. And we talked yesterday when we did our, no, sorry, the day before, we talked about, when we did our bird, we talked a little bit about facial expressions. And you could make, <laughs> you could make your snail look sleepy. You could make your snail look kind of wacky. I'm going to make my snail look like he is so happy that it's Friday. So I'm gonna put his little sort of pupils looking up that way. 
and he is ready for some beautiful weather this weekend, even if we don't get it. And I'm going to put a little smile, smile on him, and I don't think that snails actually have that kind of little smile, but I don't care. Eyebrow. Eyebrow. Floating eyebrows. All right, so he's looking pretty adorable. Now, I am going to put some sort of fun... Uh, maybe slightly nonsensical things in the background of this snail and you can do whatever sort of background you want to do I'm definitely going to make a line go this way so that we see the ground that he is sliming across and then I'll put in a little, little line that goes that way so we've got the ground that our little snail is on and I'm gonna put like some just cuz I want to and I just like to decorate my snail a little bit I'm just gonna put some little little slimy globs right there and I'm gonna put some freckles on him <laughs> okay so that sorry I said I was gonna do a little um a little background and I'm going to pretend that there are hey, hang on sorry there are little mushrooms so I do two little curved lines like that and then a big curved line like this and then I go broop, like that and then I put some little lines right here and then I put little dots I don't know if those are the poisonous kind. I hope not. And maybe I'll do another little baby one down here. Mushrooms are hilarious and delicious. All right, so we've got we've got some mushrooms. I think I'm going to do some little blades of grass. Maybe I'll do some that are behind the back end of the snail so it looks like he's kind of sliming through the grass and then I am going to just like we did yesterday we talked about foreground and middle ground and background these mushrooms are living in the foreground he's living in the middle ground I'm gonna do something else foreground over here let's say he is in a magical deep area somewhere I don't know maybe near some caves or something like that I am going to draw sort of like a little um crystal that's just popping out of the ground I don't know if that actually happens in nature but I'm going to make it happen in my picture so I did two lines that came out like this then I went in almost like the roof of a house and then I'm going to do a little and guys crystals can really do a whole lot of different things I'm just gonna do kind of like that almost looks like um, kryptonite maybe let me do that again two lines that come out at sort of diagonals kind of like antenna and then a little V and then two lines that go in and then in a line that comes across. And then maybe two stripes that come down like this. Another little V. And then like that. I don't know. That kind of looks cool. So I could I could really um, go for it over here with, with the jewels. But you know what? Because it's color week, I really want to get started on color. So... The, the last thing I'm going to do, something that might be in the background, I don't know if he's going to be, I don't know if this is going to be nighttime or daytime, but I'm going to, this can either serve as the sun or the moon, so I'm going to draw sort of these big, it's almost like an upside down rainbow, and that's going to be sort of behind the snail. And maybe I'll do some stars. I think it's going to be nighttime. I might not get to the background right now, but he's in sort of a, a magical place, I think. All right, are we ready for color? So 
Today, I, uh, I already told you, but for those of you who have just joined, I am going to be using these little water-soluble crayons, but you can use watercolor, you can use markers, you can use crayons, you can use whatever. Now here's where it's gonna get fun and rainbowy. And I'm gonna do it this way, you don't have to do it this way, but I am going to start in the center of my snail's shell with the start of our color wheel. And I'm gonna color kind of lightly so that I can still see my colored pencil line. And guess what I'm gonna do next? I'm gonna go to orange. Now, as our color is sort of swirling around, you can make the patches of color, you know, different, um, different amounts of different colors. You don't have to do them all sort of the exact same. Like if I love this chartreuse green, which by the way I do, I could do like a whole lot of that. And then let's see, we need some dark green. And because I'm gonna be adding water to mine, I'm not gonna worry so much about getting it absolutely, totally, fully colored in. And the body of your snail, like if you have a very favorite color, you could just choose to do one color for the body of the snail, or you could make the body a rainbow as well. That's up to you, little artist. Do you know it would be really cool if we started with red and if I were able to make it again all the way back to red? Do you think I can do it? How's everyone doing out there in, in viewer land? Everybody good? Can everybody see? Everybody here? All right, so I have just completed the spectrum. Red all the way back to red. All right, so before I color any of my um, snail's body, I just, I'm really excited about the, the color part, the water part of this, so, um, just a little note, and I know some of you might not be using watercolor or, or water at all right now, but if you are, I think I've said this before, but I'm going to say it again. Your, your uh, secret weapon, your secret weapon with watercolor or with any sort of wet medium that you use is to have a color, a color, a paper towel in your hand, because if it gets too wet, you just get your brush and you just dab it off and then you're good to go. So this is always, whenever I work with watercolor, I have it right next to me. It's just a, it's a non-negotiable as they say. Boop, boop. My goodness, this is gonna be fun. And you know what I'm not gonna worry about you guys? I am not gonna worry about the, like, let's say the red starts bleeding into the chartreuse green. I'm going to let that happen because I think that could be really cool. What's that? Angela, I know what you're doing. You're trying to bait me. I'm not going to do it. Already embarrassed myself with that song. All right, so we're almost making it around and around and around purple heavens to Betsy that is so fun water dab dab and now we're going from our pink down to the finish line with our red good glory check that out all right so now i'm going to have a little bit of fun with my body of my snail and because i really do love this chartreusey kind of color 
I don't know if you all know what chartreuse is, but it's like a mix between yellow and green. And that's one of my favorites. I think I'm gonna start with his front part of his body being green. And then maybe I'll fade to some other colors. But I'm gonna start here. <laughs> uh, aren't you cute? And then I think I'm gonna go to this sort of sea foamy green. And then maybe I'll make the very tip of his tail dark blue. And then this morning I walked out on my front porch and you know after it's really, if it's rained or if it's really a wet evening and you walk out and on the ground sometimes you can see sort of little trails on the ground of, of water of moisture you know what that means slugs slugs are <laughs> not as cute as snails I would say all right now I left his eyes but I'm just gonna drag some of that color up into that area like that doop little rainbow snail all right so i'm gonna go down here and i'm gonna grab maybe an orange and maybe a red Sylvie's still chasing the fly. She's a pretty good huntress. She's probably going to catch it. Red mushroom. I should have left the little dots white, but I, I got lazy. I might go back in with a white pen later. <laughs> And go in with some grass color. Now sometimes when I when I have a large background and sometimes I, it makes me a, feel a little bit intimidated because I would have to color around all of these things. I don't know if you all experience that from time to time that you get a drawing done and then you're like, oh, I don't want to have to fill in all that area around it too. And that's okay. You can just leave it. That's your creative call. So let's say I just wanted to make my stars kind of an orangey yellow. We'll just imagine that the sky is dark. And you know what else I'm going to do? I'm going to make it look like it's glowing. So we're coloring the little star, but then we're breaking out of the fence and we're going out beyond the border. Like so. Well, He's adorable. And I'm going to keep coloring, but I'm going to let you all go so that you can keep coloring. And I really, truly um, would be so pleased to see some of your snails. Um, and I know that I've said this before, but I'll say it again because you just have to keep saying things. Um, if you would like to send it to me in a direct message in Instagram, you can do that. Or if you are one of my art students, uh, one of my Ensworth Tigers, you can send it to my school email address. 
because I would love to see if you all are out there drawing along with me. I would love to see some tiger art. Art by tigers, not art of, you know what I mean. Um, so, color week. I didn't really know how this was going to end up, but I sure am just tickled by this little Friday, Friday snail. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, pretty tickled with him. So yours has rainbow rain, really? Or like lollipop rain. Well, Naya, you're just gonna have to send it to me so that I can see what you mean. All right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, all of you out there, cats and dogs, birds and butterflies, all of my love to everyone out there. Remember, it's the weekend, but you'd still have to wash your hands, drink your water, especially important. Be good to one another. Hug someone. Go hug your mom. Go hug your dad. Um, unless you can't unless they live in another house and you're an adult, which is kind of sad. I miss, I miss hugging people. Um, go outside if you can and go find color out in the world and maybe draw it. You don't have to draw what I'm drawing. You can go find a purple flower in your backyard and send me a picture of your drawing. So until next week, I send all of my colorful love out to all of you and um, send me your snail drawings and have the best weekend and I feel like I'm forgetting to say something but I don't think I am bye everyone me too hugs are free indeed they're the best um, all right good to see all of you here with me today I will let you know if Sylvie catches the fly all of my love and T to the G to the I to the F. Bye, y'all.